Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing y'all how to use a speed meter that you've seen me use in my speedrunning videos. It is very quick and easy, especially if you've already downloaded LifeSplit. This LifeSplit add-on was created by Kluger. He speedruns mostly Modern Warfare 2 and Portal 2, so be sure to check out his channel. His link will be in the description. If you haven't downloaded LifeSplit already, there will be a link in the description to the official LifeSplit website. This add-on works for every Call of Duty that has a layout preset available on the speedrun.com page. There is a layout preset available for Call of Duty 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and Ghosts in their respective resources tabs. For the purposes of this video, I'll be downloading from the Modern Warfare 2 page. Go to the resources tab and click on the speed meter tool. The download is a RAR file, so extract it into a new folder. This folder should contain a DLL file for the add-on and an LSL file for the layout. Place the DLL file into the components folder in LiveSplit. Run live split. Right click, hover over open layout, and select from file. Open the LSL file from wherever you extracted it to, and you should see a gray box with the number zero on the left. If you follow the steps correctly, the speed meter should be working perfectly for Modern Warfare 2. If you want to use the speed meter for another game listed earlier, go to the game speedrun.com page and download the layout preset in the resources tab, and then run live split with that layout. Since the speed meter is technically a window of its own, you won't be able to see it live while playing full screen. In order to see it live, you'll have to play in windowed mode, but if you have a second monitor, you can just move it there. Now that you have the speed meter working, you'll need to have it shown in your video. I use OBS, so I'll be explaining how to display the speed meter above your video using OBS. In the sources box, you'll want to add a window capture. Highlight it and click on the cog at the bottom of the sources box. Click the drop down menu at the top and select live split. Now you can move and resize the speed meter on top of the video however you want. If you're a minimalist, you're done setting up the speed meter. But if you want to make things look a bit cleaner, there are settings in the layout settings under the memory graph tab that are mostly straightforward. Just make sure that the base, type, and name of process remain the same. If you don't want a graph shown, go to the layout tab and click on the black square in the background section. Copy the letters and numbers in the bottom left corner and paste them in the graph color window in the memory graph tab. This should set the color of the window to be the same as the graph, essentially not showing it. If you want to take this one step further by taking away the window to leave just the number, you need to go to the OBS software. Note that the color of the window must be something other than black or white, or else the number won't display in your video. To do this, simply pick any other color for the background and follow the same steps used for preventing the graph from being shown. Darker colors like purple, red, or blue are preferable. Right click the window capture you added earlier and click filters. To the right of key color, click on the select color button and then click pick screen color. This will allow you to filter out the color that you choose on the screen. So of course you'll want to click on the window of the speed meter. I hope this guide was useful and if you have any further questions, leave them in the comments below. See y'all in the next one.